Hey guys, Argon Templar here. So I think one of the funny things about the refugee crisis is it shows the inherent white supremacy of modern liberalism. Um, which is kind of funny because the idea is that for all people uh, living in a white society, living with white culture, living with white, white people are just inherently better at technology, social stability, and economics, and that this isn't just best by their own standards, it's the best by all people's standards. Which is kind of what the refugee crisis is about, because they're saying they have a right to move to Europe and North America and, and to, to, to seek a better life there. Well, what does seek a better life there mean? What is the, um, the implying implication? That these places are better because white people live there. And I mean, it's, it's painfully obvious, because they'll talk about Oh, there's low crime. There's low. There's high social trust. There's um, a develop. There's economic development. There's science and technology, etc., uh, which are all hallmarks of basically white people civilization. And they're basically saying that these these people can't have their own values and make their own decisions. They have to come to our countries and accept our standards, etc. I mean, whatever happened to like the the idealization of the like the small village life in Africa, uh, the people who are swinging in the trees in touch with nature, um, the people who have forsaken modern technology and, and the rush-based society that have a laid-back culture that's truer to earth and to nature, that um, the the um, the Muslims who pursue spiritual perfection and and reject modern capitalist materialism. What happened to all of that? Um, I thought we were supposed to look at people from these countries as superior and revel in how great their country is. I mean, that's what I was taught growing up. Uh, but now there's this idea that, no, we, we shouldn't look up to these people at all. We should see them as vastly inferior and see their societies as being innately inferior. And thus we should bring them from their countries to our country and make them live in someone else's world. Um, we should take them away from their families, their homes, their culture, their civilization, uh, from the land where their people have fought and died for thousands of years, and bring them to a completely different continent, make them learn a, a language that's not even in their language family, adopt a foreign culture, and integrate into a civilization with completely different values. Uh, that's basically what they want. And if that's not the most white supremacist thing I've ever heard, I don't know. It's the idea, basically, modern liberalism is the idea everyone, um, white values are the values that everyone should have. Uh, everyone needs to be a liberal democracy. Uh, the people can't be allowed to choose anything else. Uh, people can't be allowed to have societies with fundamentally different values. Uh, they have to um, all be brought to white people's countries and force them to adopt uh, white people's values. Um, and no other standards can exist. And I, I actually don't really take that position. I mean, I am a universal... I, I, I do believe in moral universalism, but I also accept that all things are subject to reality and that realistically there isn't really that much you can do other than invading and bringing back colonialism to deal with some things I view as grossly immoral. Like, I don't know realistically what you can do about female genital mutilation, about cannibalism, about eating albinos, about, like, the magic rape potions they have in the Congo, about just the debt, like, the complete and utter chaos of South Africa and Brazil. I don't know what you can realistically really, really do about it uh, other than invading the countries and occupying them, and that's just not going to happen. So I just, I just, as a matter of pragmatism and realism, accept that these people have agency, that these people um, have the ability to make their own decisions and have their own culture and their own society, and these are just the decisions they make. Uh, that South Africa has the highest crime rate and the highest rape rate on Earth because that's the choice the South African people have made. That's what they want. China wants a society... Um, where they're treated like worker bees and are sacrificed to the interests of the great Chinese state uh, to make China economy strong. I accept that. I accept that the Indian people uh, traditionally have been more concerned with spiritual salvation than building things like sewer systems, uh, that the Saudis place religious dogma above everything else. I'm willing to accept that. 
Um, I, I don't know why we have to go and try and make these people into our image. They're fundamentally different. I don't understand why they have to accept liberal democracy, why they have to accept capitalist economics, or like whatever bizarre blend of capitalism and socialism the left is advocating these days. Um, I just, like, I don't get it, guys. I thought you guys were supposed to be in favor of diversity. I support diversity on a global scale. I don't support going into these countries and making them into our image. I don't support bringing the people here and, and blending them out of existence. I don't know, wh why do you guys want to blend Africans out of existence? Why do you guys want to breed, um, like, East Asians out of existence? Like, why do you want to mix all these people together? Why do you want to commit cultural genocide by scattering these peoples to the winds and having them immigrate to just a bunch of different countries and losing their culture? I don't get why the left hates Africa so much. I don't get why they see it as, as this inferior society that people have to leave. I think I think one of the um, uh, the the kind of the interesting things about this crisis is the idea that these people aren't just leaving their countries until the crisis is over and going home. No, they're leaving their countries and they're staying here because not because there's an actual crisis, but because living in their countries um, is is so bad that it it makes them a refugee. Um, well, isn't that kind of like a white supremacist ethnocentric thing? Because you're saying, like, the Ethiopians or the Nigerians, they can't run their own country. The way they run their societies is so fundamentally wrong compared to your standards that they, the people have to leave there. I mean, if anything, if, if you wanted to be, like, really tolerant, you should be trying to move to Nigeria or Syria or Ethiopia. Because those societies are obviously superior to ours. And uh, they, they don't suffer from, like, racism, for instance. So I think what we need to do is, is oppose white supremacism. Uh, we need to support diversity on a global scale. We need to end the migration and send the people back to their country so that they won't be blended out of existence and we won't be committing ethnic and cultural genocide against them. I think these people have been deluded by these white supremacists in the media into thinking that Europe and North America are superior, because they aren't. They aren't really superior, and these people should go back and they should live in their, their villages and in their societies and in their cultures, and they shouldn't have to put up with our racism, and they shouldn't have to put up with our hatred and our bigotry, because, like, you know how Europeans are, we'll probably just commit genocide against them, because that's just, like, we're just wired that way. Uh, these people don't do that kind of thing. Um... So what we need to do is just learn to accept these people, uh, to accept their differences in lifestyle, because like in South Africa, being a rapist is like a socially acceptable lifestyle choice. So we have to just be accepting and stop being so judgmental and stop thinking that bringing these people to our countries uh, gives them a better life because it doesn't. It just makes things worse for them. And I want to be compassionate to these people, and I want to spare them the horrors of living in a capitalist, racist, white society. So I, I, I call on you liberals to join me in rejecting white supremacism. This is Argon Templar signing out.